This is the sixth video in this series, working with a make human model in Blender. And in the last video, we finished up adding some bones for the fingers. So let's carry on with that and add the IK. First off, we'll select the root of the ring finger and snap our cursor to that and add a bone. Then select the tip of the ring finger, snap our cursor there, and from a front view, add a bone. Select that bone, use the period key to change our pivot to 3D cursor, rotate that bone by 90 degrees, and then scale it down. This bone will be called finger IK. This bone will be simply finger left. So finger IK left and finger left. The finger IK bone should be parented child of the finger's left bone. So we'll set that parenting right now because it's easier to select these bones where they're presently located. We'll make parent and keep offset. Then tab into pose mode and add the IK constraint. Also for the same reason, the bones are simply easier to select right now. So we'll shift I, add IK constraint to active bone, and set a chain length of three. And a yellow line will be seen running up to the root of the middle, or the in ring finger, I should say. With that IK constraint added, and the cursor located on the fingertip, we can snap the tip of the finger left bone to the cursor and then lay it into the finger. The finger left bone should be child of the wrist left bone. So we'll control P, make parent, keep offset. Now make the IK for the thumb, which is basically the same procedure. We'll snap our cursor to the root of the thumb assembly, add a bone, that bone will be thumb left, snap our cursor to the tip, add a bone, rotate it around the 3D cursor by around 45 degrees, scale that down, and that bone will be thumb IK left, the thumb IK left bone should be child of the thumb left bone, so we'll make parent keep offset. Again tab into pose mode and set the IK constraint. Choose the IK bone, the last bone in the thumb chain, shift I, add IK constraint, set a chain length of three. And again tab into edit mode Select the tip of the thumb left bone, and while the cursor is still on the thumb's tip, snap that selection now to the cursor, and then lay the control bone into the thumb. And again, that control bone should be child of the wrist left bone. So, control, P, make parent, keep offset. And we can add the IK to the other bones in the arm. We'll select the arm IK left bone, the lower arm left bone, shift I, add IK constraint, chain length of two. And the arm plane bone, the upper arm left bone, shift I, Add IK constraint, chain length, 1. Tab into edit mode. The arm plane bone can be grabbed and moved back along Y and moved back by a fair distance. That bone should be child of the arm IK bone. So, control P make parent keep offset. 
the arm IK bone should be child of the arm anchor bone, or the IK anchor bone, which is its entire purpose. Control P, make parent, keep offset. The anchor bone should be child of the collar bone. Control P, make parent, keep offset. The collar bone should be child of the spine forebone. Control P, make parent, keep offset. And I believe that would conclude our arm setup. And now in pose mode, this arm should be fairly functional. Where the IK bone will act as a grab. And the fingers bone will act as a scale and rotation bone. And of course, when in pose mode, we should ensure that our pivot is set to median point. Otherwise, the bone won't work properly. And that would be the function of the fingers. And the thumb would function in the same way, scale and rotate. In the next video, we'll add a setup to the legs, which is slightly more advanced, and something I picked up on a tutorial myself. So that'll be in the next video, and until then, happy modeling.